evening guys uh, welcome back to the channel so this video is going to be uh, slightly different tonight and I hope you like it for the reasons that I'm about to explain um, in a few seconds um, but before we get into all of that if you're new to this channel uh, please make sure you like that um, press the like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and uh, drop a comment below because um, every little helps all right guys but yeah let's just get into it so um, I'm driving back from work now and I've been thinking all night um, about the YouTube channel and stuff and I've, I just want to get a few things off my chest to kind of let you guys know um, where I want to take this channel and fundamentally why I even started the channel in the first place um, so yeah hopefully you can get something out of it as to my motivations and uh, I can get some things off my chest so we're both getting something out of it but um, if you're a returning subscriber I know there's 231 subscribers at the moment which is more than I thought I'd get at this point in, uh, in time with the channel so um, I'm over the moon with that but if you are a return subscriber thank you if you're new to the channel you know welcome make sure you subscribe guys so firstly why did I do the channel um, why did I create a channel about a pug I mean you know my background is um, not in videography it's it's not in social media it's not in media studies or anything like that it's um, I come from a military background for those years that don't know I'm a former Royal Marines commando um, I served quite a few years in the in the Royal Marines which is um, it was a privilege it was um, a fantastic time however it's very different to what I'm doing right now I'm sure most of my friends if they did stumble across this video would be thinking what on earth are you doing doing a pug channel on YouTube but here's my reasons guys I found myself on Facebook and Instagram you know all the usual suspects on social media and I was just posting little videos of Pip um, I got Pip when she was eight weeks old I think um, from my sister and she came to stay with me on um, on camp and uh, I kind of you know I spent every single day with this dog um, and it literally it dawned on me every single day I'm putting pictures on Instagram videos and all that stuff and I'm thinking well if I have the courage to be able to put videos on Facebook and Instagram and everything else and there's loads of people liking those videos and stuff and it didn't really seem too much of a stupid idea I didn't really feel embarrassed or anything like that because Facebook and Instagram is you know part of pretty much everyone's life so it wasn't out of the normal for that to, to occur, for people to put random videos up. And um, I didn't feel out of the ordinary for doing it. And again, didn't feel embarrassed for doing it. So it dawned on me, I'm wasting all my time putting all these videos and stuff on Facebook and Instagram. And what am I getting out of it other than a like and a comment? Oh, your dog's cute and all oh, great video and all of this kind of stuff. I'm thinking, well, what, what can I do with this? now? I don't know if any of you guys watching this have served in the military. While you're in, it's a great thing, you know. I was getting good money, I was traveling the world, I had no real responsibilities other than when I was being deployed, you know. But you work hard and you, 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 play, you play hard, all right, guys? And for, for me, leaving the military, going into different types of jobs, albeit I enjoy my work, um, I'm a security consultant, and I do various different security related jobs around the country but it's not my passion all right and it dawned on me I'm actually um, quite a creative person albeit I might not be the the, the most creative person uh, I might not have the greatest skill set uh, um, skill sets orientated around making videos but I enjoy it and it's a bit of a passion of mine and I really 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 like creating videos um, associated around Pip um, so I thought why not use YouTube as a platform to be able to put these videos on um, so I did that originally it wasn't a, um, an, a pug channel a, an animal based channel I um, started doing gaming videos and stuff on a different channel that I had and 
I quickly found that that's a saturated market and you know not many people watch my videos as soon as I put a pug video up there I didn't even have to try I got subscribers straight away and it seemed to take off um, more so than I actually initially um, anticipated so I was quite happy when I started the um, Pippi the Pug um, and Core channel so what's in it for the long run for me let's be real guys if I can make this channel into a monetized channel um, which I'm sure most of you guys know if you're not aware um, you can actually make money off YouTube and that is one of my aims it's not the main aim I'm doing the channel I'm doing the channel because it's a passion of mine but let's face it if I could actually get that subscriber base up to a point um, large enough where I could actually generate an income from this wow that would be a dream come true if I could literally go out and do what I love, create better videos for you guys to watch, more engaging videos for you lot to watch, and get paid for it. You know, that would be me doing my dream job. I wouldn't be working for a living because it's what I like to do. I like to take videos, I like the editing, I love the whole process of interacting with new um, subscribers. Um, and yeah, guys, that, that would be my dream situation, I'm not gonna lie. So, how can you help me get to that point? Honestly guys, if you look at other videos on YouTube, you'll see people telling you point blank what creates a successful YouTube channel. And it's about guys watching the videos for as much as you can, um, liking that video, sharing it with as many people as you possibly can, and um, just really helping that channel grow. It is genuinely a team effort. Um, it's not just about me, it's about every one of you subscribers, so if you do like the channel um, and you do feel that you're a part of the channel and you're engaged and you know many of you guys I speak with, as soon as you've put a comment on there, I like to um, engage with you and have a conversation with you. If, if you're that person who's commenting, thank you so much, I really do appreciate it. And if you're that person who feels a little bit shy to comment, hey, just drop a comment, guys, you know. I felt shy to initially post these videos, but I'm not bothered anymore. It's what I like to do. And um, hopefully, hopefully, you guys can help me make some form of a living out of it. Now, what are the credentials to be able to get money from YouTube? Well, first and foremost, you need at least a 1,000 subscribers on the channel. So I'm nearly a quarter of the way there quarter of the way there nearly I need another 760 ish um, subscribers which for many will seem daunting many people have said I won't get that point um, where I'm monetized but I'm not gonna listen to the naysayers I'm gonna keep on pursuing if I have to do two three hundred more videos to get to that point I'm willing to put in the work but I do need your help guys and sharing the love um, and watching all of the videos commenting liking those videos it really does help a small YouTube channel like mine. Um, if any of my subscribers are subscribed to a channel called That Pug Pablo and Co. Um, I watched his channel, you know, go from nothing to nearly 70,000 subscribers overnight. He's done unbelievable. And that's the channel that we're trying to, not necessarily mimic, but that's our inspiration. That's our goal. I want to get to the point of where I can say, yeah, That Pug Pablo and Co. I'm, I'm on a level playing field. But I've got a long way to go guys so um, you know if you can if you can help me get to that point I'd really really appreciate the support and yeah that's all I've really got to say on, on, on that really in terms of what I want out of the channel um, but be rest assured what you can get out of the channel um, hopefully you're enjoying the videos and seeing Pip um, I'm wanting to take the channel into a slightly different direction in terms of I want to create different playlists for different types of people so maybe you like Pippi the Pug but you come to the channel uh, more so to listen to me speak which some people do that's great I'm going to be doing videos orientated around you guys and playlists orientated around you guys um, so my recent idea I'm going to start doing indoor workout videos Pip's going to be included of course in those videos um, so don't worry about that but I want to do a playlist based on 
um, indoor workouts because I, I work out every single day being a Royal Marine it's still part of my life doing physical activity so why not record it and put it on the channel guys if you find a, 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 it, it useful then great um, for the guys who come here just for Pippi the Pope great I'm still going to be doing loads of content based um, around her and I'm going to be you know creating selective playlists solely um, for Pippi so you can just literally skip the stuff you don't want to listen to me waffle uh, you can literally click onto those playlists and, and watch her and that's fine that's what the channel was um, designed for in the first place it was created for that purpose and um, what I'm also thinking about doing but it's not going to be straight away based on the current coronavirus um, COVID-19 situation I have got another channel which I'll put the link in the description guys feel free to go and uh, subscribe to that channel as well it's called Foz uh, which is my nickname and it's based around travel vlogs um, I've been quite fortunate enough to, to do a lot of traveling over the past 10 years and all the footage that I've had over the years with my time in the Royal Marines as well I'm gonna put on there and um, you know feel free to subscribe to that channel if you wish so you don't have to because I'm gonna do similar videos but with Pippi um, so all of our traveling videos that we do together we're going to start vlogging those um, the different places that we're going to travel to or have traveled to with with Pippi. Um, so yeah guys loads to do um, loads of creativity coming your way um, it's amazing what times like these um, can do for the for the brain it, for me it this, this self-isolation thing, this being at home, not allowed to go out, not allowed to drink and all this, it's just created something in my brain. Being a Royal Marine, we're quite, quite motivated people, you know, I really want to succeed in life, so whatever we do, we put 110% in, you know, for, through everything, whether it's being a combat soldier, um, whether it's being a, a decent person to your family, or, or, or whether it's doing something like a YouTube channel, you know, you're going to expect 100%, so... Um, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Um, please support the channel if you can, uh, when you can, by like, sharing, and subscribing, guys. That's all I've got to say. Whatever you do today, tonight, wherever you're watching in the world, please stay safe. Um, support a former Marine, um, grow his channel on YouTube. Peace, guys. Take it easy.